Okay guys, my name is Kurt Meir. I'm a petroleum engineer and today I want to talk to you about a promoted drilling deal so you can understand how sometimes wells get drilled. All right, so what we call this type of deal is a third for a quarter after payout back in. It's just one type of uh, promoted drilling deal. There's other ones, but this is a popular one. A third for a quarter APO back in is what it's called. All right, so what do we need? We need an independent geologist that generates a drilling prospect. And we need a promoter that puts the deal together, uh, an operator that drills and operates the well, and a promoter and operator are a lot of times the same person. But we also need investors to pay for the well. So how does it work? Gener the geologist gener generates a prospect. Here it is. It can be the well control based on well control or seismic. We have the location there that we want to drill. And then the promoter has to lease up the uh, property over the, uh, over the prospect. Now, in this case, the lease has cost $250,000, and he has to pay a 20% royalty to the landowners. Now, the operator or the promoter has to plan the well and get cost estimates, and usually we use a turnkey drilling cost. And then someone has to secure the investors to pay for the well. So the promoter usually does these tasks. All right, so what does it cost the investors? So the investors are charged for the leases and a promotion fee of $350,000. But as you notice, the leases only cost the promoter $250,000 because he's adding $100,000 to, uh, to the fee so he can make a profit on the deal for his time and effort. And then the geologist, when you start the drilling of the well, he gets a $50,000 fee. And the turnkey cost estimate in this case is $2 million to drill, drill the well. So the investors have to risk $2.4 million to drill and log the well to see if there's any oil there. Now, if they find oil, you have to complete the well, and that's going to cost an additional $600,000. And so the total well, if it's a producer, will cost $3 million. All right, so who owns the well once we drill it? So another part of the promotion is the, uh, op, uh, the promoter will promote the ownership, and he's only going to return 75% net revenue interest to the investors, even though the, the lease net revenue is 80% from the 20% royalty. He only delivers 75% to the investors. So what does that mean? That means he's keeping a 3% override, and he's given the geologist a 2% override on the well. All right, so what do the investors get? Before payout, remember this is a, three, a third for a quarter, so three-thirds of the well is 100% working interest, so the investors pay 100% of the well, and they will get a revenue of 75% from the sales of the oil. That's before payout. Once the well reaches payout, it's a third for a quarter deal. So if you had three thirds of the well, now you only have three quarters. So the investors would now only have 75% working interest and their revenue interest would be 56.25. What about the promoter? Well, the promoter now has that other quarter. So he owns 25% working interest in the well, plus the 18% revenue on, the, on his working interest share bust a 3% override that he kept in the deal. So he's going to get 21.75% of the revenue from the well. The geologist, he does not pay for the well, zero working interest, but he will get a 2% override as his, as his revenue interest share. What about the landowners? The landowners, they don't pay for the well, so that's a 0% working interest, but they get their 20% royalty as a revenue interest. So... The, the ownership of the working interest has to equal 100% and the revenue interest has to equal 100% and they do in this case. So if you're evaluating this project for your investor client, you have to, you have to factor in the ownership changes that pay out in your, in your economic evaluation. So I use PhD Win software where you can uh, do this. It's very easy to do. So uh, that's a typical promoted drilling deal. 
Uh, it's not the only way to do it, but that's one way. And I hope that was informative and instructive. And it just let me know your thoughts. Thanks.